LIWC was a company that was uh, out of Higgsville. Uh, it was called Critical Mass Pro Wrestling. It was a training facility. And in 2001, they closed down. So John Kersey and I, who run NYWC now, came together and we formed what is now what we know as the NYWC. This is the best company in the United States outside of WWE. Um, there's only like a handful of good companies to really wrestle for in the independent scene. Everything from learning the moves, to doing the moves, to performing, to cardio. I mean, there wasn't one thing I could say that was hard. It was all physically demanding, and it's been the hardest thing I've ever done. Wrestling with this whole stigma, you know, sports entertainment, blah, blah, blah. People see it on TV and they're like, ah, I can do that, that's easy. And people have come here and realized that it's not easy, you know, that it hurts. <laughs> We're all a big, dysfunctional family. I was so, and I said, this is what I want to do. This is awesome. And I remember going up to my mom, going, Mom, I know what I want to do when I grow up. And she's expecting doctor, lawyer, pro wrestler. OK, go play. You know, that was her reaction. Like, yeah, right, kid, you know? So that's when I knew I wanted to be a pro wrestler. I think our, our number one goal with the MIWC is professionalism. We demand the best from our guys, and over the years they've shown that they are the best with five guys getting contracts out of our school. Training when you first start, you're learning, uh, you know, basic holds. And I was in—I didn't get in the ring for the first three months of my training. I was on the outside, learning, you know, the basics. So we just decided to the best thing to do to take it to the next level would be we got our own uh, place. It's 5,000 square foot. Um, we. Uh, painted it all black, we put up the cans, lit it up nice, and we just made it a building for professional wrestling. Right now we have like a good group of guys that just give pretty much everything, you know. Like we're not getting, we're not getting rich off this. You see the difference between a gold medalist and a silver medalist is what? One second, right? Same applies to wrestling, meaning that you gotta, you gotta live it 24-7. You gotta hit the gym, you gotta look the part. You gotta act the part in the ring and out of the ring. You gotta be a professional at all times. I'd rather put on a quality wrestling show and walk away with nothing in my pocket, but at least know that if there's five people in the audience, those five people walked away and said that was one of the best shows I've ever seen. Support indie wrestling, because indie wrestling is obviously the feeding ground for tomorrow's stars. So without any independence, there'll be no future for this business.